Well, hello, Windsor First Baptist. I'm so excited to be kind of giving you guys a children's lesson for today. Last week, we talked about how Jesus ascended and gave us as believers, those of us who are Christians, the Holy Spirit. And this week, we're going to be talking about in the book of Acts, this Holy Spirit, one of the persons of the Trinity, comes to the disciples. And who were the disciples? It was the 12 people who were following Jesus along with other followers of Jesus. So this Holy Spirit, this spirit of power comes on to the disciples in the book of Acts and we see how radically it transforms these people. So on the day of Pentecost, this very famous day, uh, the Jesus' disciples were gathered together in Jerusalem and they're scared, but then suddenly the Holy Spirit fills them and the Holy Spirit allows them to speak in various different languages. He gives them power to just speak to everybody in every tongue in every nation. Now the Jews were in Jerusalem who had come and they're coming from every nation. These Jews are coming from all around and the disciples uh, they, they start speaking in voices that isn't their own language. And these Jews who are coming from all around hear the disciples uh, speaking. And Peter, one of the le head disciples, uh, stood up and said, I'll tell you what is happening. And he reminded the people of something the prophet Joel, somebody from the Old Testament, uh, had said long ago, where God said, I will pour out my spirit on to all people. I will show you wonders in heaven above and signs on earth below. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's something that Joel said, and Peter here is quoting it to show that this is happening right now. Then Peter proclaims this truth that he just saw. Jesus is alive. He went up to heaven to be with God the Father. Do not doubt this. And then Peter continues, when you killed Jesus, you killed the Messiah. And he's saying this to the Jews while he is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit convicted the people that Peter was telling the truth. And they asked him, what must we do to be saved? And Peter told the people to repent of their sin, to turn away from the wrongdoing they had done of killing the Messiah and other things that they had done, and to turn towards God. God will forgive you of your sins and you will receive the Holy Spirit if you believe in Jesus and are baptized in his name. That's what Peter says. And so everyone who believed in Jesus, or in Peter, and the message of Jesus was baptized that day. And 3,000 people believed in Jesus. So what can you as children, as people uh, here at First Baptist, learn from this message? Well, God kept his promise to send the Holy Spirit. We talked about that this week, but even more, or last week, but even more this week. But the story takes place on Pentecost. And Pentecost was a special day for the Jewish people as it was the day they were to remember of the law given to Moses. You know, the Ten Commandments? That was given to Moses several thousand years ago on this exact day. So it's like they were celebrating a holiday and Jews from many nations were traveling to the temple, to Jerusalem, to celebrate this special time. And because they were from various nations, they all spoke various tongues and Peter was able to speak in these tongues because of the promise of the Holy Spirit, because of the Holy Spirit. So let's go back. Let's think about our big picture question that we're going to be talking about all month long. How does the Holy Spirit help Christians? The Holy Spirit helps Christians by confronting us, showing us our sin, and guiding us as we live for God's glory and goodness. Right? And that's what happened. The Holy Spirit came into Peter, but then what really was significant was it conv convicted all these Jews at the day of Pentecost to believe in Jesus. And the Holy Spirit does those three things. He confronts us, he shows us of our sin, and then he guides us to live towards glory and goodness. He did all three of those things then, and he's doing that today. Even before Jesus' death and resurrection, Jesus promised his disciples that they would not be left alone, but that God would send a counselor who would convict the world of, about sin and righteousness and judgment. God kept that promise. And that's what we should remember today. God kept his promise of the Holy Spirit, and we can have the Holy Spirit too. So I want to challenge you guys, you kids this week, if you guys would like to be convicted, to, to, to recognize 
the, oh, your, the sin in your heart, but also recognize the comfort that God can give you and the ability to live a life of goodness and glory. You just simply need to accept Jesus and accept the Holy Spirit into your heart, like Peter and these 3,000 disciples did that day several thousand years ago on Pentecost. So that's our lesson today. Let's pray and then we'll be done. Dear God, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for these kids who get to watch these videos online, and I pray that they will remember the power of the Holy Spirit as we're focusing on that this week, and they will uh, accept the Holy Spirit and Jesus into their lives and believe like these 3,000 people did many years ago. And I pray these things in your son's name, Jesus. Amen.